Over the course of this lawn season, we have focused a lot on individual products and what they do for your turf. But what about your normal, everyday, I need to get something down or routine fertilizer applications? So I have a lawn, two different grass types as a matter of fact, they need some nutrients. So why not go ahead and show what my everyday routine Green County fertilizer application looks like. What's going on everybody? Chuck here and hope that you are having a fantastic day today. Now here's the interesting thing. Well, to me it's interesting. The interesting thing about my house. I have two different grass types. Tall fescue in my front yard. In the backyard, it's Bermuda. Generally speaking, I treat them both the same when it comes to biostimulant applications. However, things change when I need to apply nitrogen-based fertilizers. Tall fescue is a cool season grass, so in the heat of the summer, when I'm pushing my Bermuda hard, I'm taking things a little bit lighter here in the front, as I don't want to apply any fertilizers that are high in nitrogen. For my front yard, I'm gonna apply the full BioStim Pack RGS Microgreen Aerate and Humic 12. On top of all that, I'm gonna be giving it nine ounces per thousand of 402 Fluorogreen. This is gonna give it a small amount of nitrogen and potassium, but not enough that's gonna stress out the turf. Between 402 Fluorogreen and the BioStims, that is my summertime application for my turf type tall fescue here in the transition zone. To keep things easy, I usually apply my biostimulants at the same rate of six ounces per gallon, which covers 1,000 square feet. However, I do split them into two applications. Usually, Air 8 and RGS, and Humic 12 and Microgreen. Splitting your biostimulants into two applications helps prevent any clogging you may experience. However, in my personal situation, I have never experienced any clogging when using a backpack sprayer applying all four at the same time. The way I do that is I usually put the amount of fertilizer I need into the backpack sprayer and I fill the backpack sprayer with the full four gallons of water and that helps dilute stuff enough so everything flows nice and easy. With my front yard being 1,500 square feet, I put in one and a half gallons of water with the product as required, then add another two and a half gallons of water. As I mentioned earlier, in my situation, this is enough dilution to help everything flow through the backpack sprayer with ease. If you have a larger lawn than mine, this technique may not work for you and it may be better for you to go ahead and split your applications. Right now, I think it's a perfect time to go ahead and hit that like button. Also, comment down below, what is your normal, everyday, I need to get fertilizer out, what does that routine look like for you? I typically apply my fertilizers in the evening, 7 p.m. or later, mainly because it's the only time during the week that I can. And the daytime temperatures are cooling off enough that I'm not risking damaging the turf. I also tie my applications with my water cycle, so even if stuff sits overnight, it's not that big of a deal. Products like Dethatch, CK, Microgreen do not have to be watered in immediately, so it's okay to let these sit overnight. We are in the prime time for Bermuda, so on top of my biostimulants, I'm gonna go ahead and apply 2600 Green Charge, which has actually become my routine high nitrogen fertilizer application for the Bermuda. At the beginning of the season, I was going with 1621-2 Green Pop, and had Green Charge not come along, I'd probably still be using Green Pop. Green Charge has actually done wonders for my backyard. I mean, the color that came out of this at the peak was so awesome awesome but since then i have scalped i have done a leveling job it is still recovering so i want to go ahead and push some more growth with the green charge when the camera isn't rolling and i need to get my fertilizer applications done this is my method is it the right method for me it is for you it may not be but whatever your schedule looks like as long as you're staying on top of things your grass is healthy and green it's obviously working so stick with it that is it for this video. Like I mentioned, comment down below with what your fertilizer routine looks like because what works for you may help someone else out as well. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button because that is what helps grow the channel. I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.